welcome back guys. Now let's talk about changing line and paragraph spacing. Increasing the amount of space between our lines can add some more white space to a document and make it easier to read. Adding space before and after paragraphs can also open up a document and improve its appearance. So we're going to use the line and paragraph spacing in the paragraph group to quickly change line spacing. I'm going to go back up to the top of my document and we're going to turn on our paragraph marks for this one. Before I do anything there, I want to italicize this because there, I want it to fit closer together. I think this is going to make it a little bit more obvious when we start to play with the spacing. And changing the line spacing is actually very simple in Word. We're going to go up here to our paragraph group and hit this drop down. This is our line spacing drop down and I'm going to select this next one. And before I even click on it, you notice there's a difference in the paragraph below. Now I'm going to actually click on the 1.15 and see how it gives a little bit more spacing above each line in that paragraph. Very nice. And notice we didn't need to select the whole paragraph to apply it. We just had to be in the paragraph itself. Now down here, where it says trip dates and cost. I'm going to select this whole list here and I want this to really stand out so I am going to have this spacing be 1.5 and see now they're spread further apart and then down here in our first heading I'm going to click in that one go up to my layout tab and notice here where it says spacing before and after right now at zero. I'm going to hit this up arrow here in my after to get to six and notice that it changed the spacing. I'm going to hit down to show you again. So see right now how the paragraph is right up against that header. I click up once and it gives some more spacing in between the header and the paragraph. Looks much better. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to apply the same format to the rest of the headers here. Please note that you can also click F4 and it will apply the last action you took, which means that it would add that six point spacing after once you've clicked in if you press F4. Beautiful. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I'm going to click here in my header last minute travel deals. And this time for the before, I'm going to scroll up until I get to 12, which is two clicks, so that there's more space in between the quest specialty travel title and the actual title last minute travel deals. Now that I've made all those changes, I'm going to go back to home and turn off our paragraph marks. It's looking great. So now let's talk about alignment. And I'm sure some of you are already sitting there saying that left alignment's driving me crazy, Melody. When we talk about alignment, we're talking about left or right or centered text. Changing the paragraph alignment is another way we can enhance our document's appearance. Now by default, paragraphs are aligned to the left. We can use the alignment buttons in our paragraph group to change that default. First, I'm going to go up here and actually change the template with my name. There we go. I'm going to select this first line here and move it to the right. Now see here in the paragraphs group, left, center, right. And if you look real closely, you can see that the lines look different based on that alignment. Now I don't like how this is sticking out pretty far, so I'm going to delete this comma here and hit enter. So see now it's nice and tight in the corner. And now I'm going to select the title here and do what you all have been waiting for and <laughs> hit center. Dun, 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 dun. Now it's centered in the top. And then I am going to change this italicized paragraph. I'm going to use what's called justified, which is this fourth option here. What's nice about justified is it will literally stretch the text so that the paragraph is aligned with both the left and right margins. This does mean that you might see some extra spacing in between some of the words so that happens, but it just gives it a really nice feel for that specific type of paragraph. Now let's talk about working with tabs. Now tabs allow us to align text at a specific location in a document. A tab stop is a point on the horizontal ruler that indicates the location at which to align text. Now by default, tab stops are located every half inch from the left margin, but we can customize these. We can actually program Word to go exactly a certain number of spaces when we hit tab. So let me show you how that's done. I'm going to select this list here where it says trip dates cost. And I'm going to go up here on the left to this tab stop indicator. Yes, that's what that little L is. If I click on it, you'll see how it changed to a different shape. And if I click on it again, it changes to the other side, showing you all the different options that this one has. I'm going to keep clicking on it till we get back to the default here, the little L. I'm going to click on the L here, and then I'm going to click on the three and a half inch mark here. Now what you may not have noticed right away is look up close. You see the tab stop? There's an L right here because we marked it right there. And now I'm going to switch this to right. So see now it's facing backwards. And then I'm going to click the five and see how it adds the backwards L right here underneath the five. 
what we're doing is we're adding the tab stops. Watch what it's going to do. I'm going to go down here and select before the word trip and then I'm going to press tab. <laughs> See what it did? We had programmed the tab stop to be at three and a half and at five. So when I hit tab, it jumped all the way to three and a half because I said that's where the tabs should stop. Pretty neat, right? I'm going to go ahead and back this out and you're probably wondering why in the world did I do that? Just watch. It's going to make sense. Trip dates cost. Then we're going to go down here. That's the name of the trip, right? I'm going to click in front of the October, in front of the cost. Is it making sense yet? I'm actually separating out the list and all I'm having to do is press tab once to go to three and a half and tab again to go to five. Could you imagine how long this would have taken just hitting the space bar? That looks great. And then watch this. I'm going to select this text here. Let's say, you know what? I want to move it a little bit more over. I can drag this tab stop right now where it's at the five to five and a half. And the text went with it. Neat, right? And actually, you know, this trip here, I feel like this is kind of out here too far to the left. So I'm going to actually drag this one over here to the one. Oh, beautiful. Now it's nice and centered. Isn't that so neat? Now one more neat feature, just you wait. Let's select these four lines here, not the titles, and then launch the paragraph group. And look, you may have not noticed this before, but there's a button in the bottom left that says tab. I'm gonna click on it, and here it lists our tab stop position, three and a half, five and a half, tells us what the default would have been, 0.5. And then look here in the center where it says leader. You're probably like, well, what is that? That is what leads in front of a tab. So there's this number two, which is dots, three is dashes, and four is a line. I'm gonna stick with the dots and click OK. And look, now there's dots so that it connects these two together. I'm gonna do the same over here. Launch it again. Tabs to, and this time I'm going to apply it to my 5.5 to click OK. Awesome. Let's keep going. Now let's talk about working with indents. Now when we indent a paragraph, we're moving its edge in from the left or right margin. We can indent the entire left or right edge of a paragraph, just the first line, or all the lines except for the first line. I'm going to place the insertion point in front of our paragraph that's italicized here. And to show you how this works, we're going to go up here to the paragraphs group and see these two buttons here? These are our indent buttons. So I'm going to click this one that says increase indent and see I move the whole paragraph over one half inch from the left margin. And if I kept hitting it, it would have kept going. Now, I'm not liking the way the default looks, so I'm going to put this back. But watch this. I can drag this indent marker here ever so slightly to my quarter inch and look and move the first part of the paragraph over. That's because this is the first line indent marker. Let's keep going. I'm going to scroll down until I find the quote here. Here's quote. We want this quote to stand out. I clicked in front of it and then I'm going to go to layout and see just like with spacing, the indent options are also here available in the layout where we can customize the exact size. I'm going to click in the left box here and I'm going to type in 0.5, enter, and then I'm going to do the same for the right. 0.5, enter, and see now it's indented on both sides of the paragraph. I'm going to go back up here to the top and let's pick on our italicized paragraph again. I'm going to click the launcher in the paragraph group and notice just like in the layout tab, we have the indentation options right here and the spacing options right here. So there's multiple ways to get to this information. Using this box, I'm going to go here to the special list item, hit the drop down and select none. And you'll see that it takes away the indentation that we had applied and click OK. There we go. So indentations or indents, although they seem simple, they can be very effective as long as you use them wisely. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching and I will catch you later.